Hi everyone, this is Taylor with Scott Lori Marketing and today we're going to go over how to create a newsletter in command so that you can email it out to all of your database. So once you log into agent.kw.com, we're going to navigate to designs, which is the paintbrush icon within a square. And once you're here, we're going to create design. And we're going to create an email template that way we can attach it to either a smart plan or a campaign. And here you have a ton of different templates. There's 72 total, but we're going to search for a newsletter layout. And now we have several options here. Once you select which one you want to use, just simply click on it and then hit next. And that should drop you into the editor. And now you can just edit so that this looks the way you want it. So if you want to edit your text, select your text box and then the pencil. And I want to center this. Again, text. You can edit this as you see fit so that it talks about the market or whatever you want to highlight. You can delete extra text boxes. If you want to add an image, you can select that and wherever the green line is, is where your box will drop. So we're just going to drag and drop a file and then select it and save. You can also edit this so if it's too large or too small, you can drag and drop the corners or if you edit, you can mess with these numbers for height and width. There's a button already in this template so if you edit that, you can change what it says, link it either to a separate web address or a landing page. If you've already built out the landing page, then you can select it right from there. You can change the size of the button as well. Change the color. You can add in a listing block. Again, just looking for that green line wherever it needs to drop. So now if you have a specific property, you can highlight that in here. Maybe you want to highlight an event. Maybe an open house or maybe a holiday event. Changing your time and your text boxes. And you'll notice here that most of these have merge tags, those little asterisks in between the lines. So that tells you that this is pulling from your marketing profile. 
Same thing with all of this information down here in your legal footer. You'll notice down here, I don't have the option to edit any of this. This is all pulling for compliance. So you wanna make sure that your marketing profile and command is as up to date as possible. Once you're satisfied with how it looks, you can preview everything, make sure all that information is displaying the way you want it to. You'll notice that your information is now starting to filter in here from those merge fields. And we're going to save. Save changes, and now we have an email right here, ready to go. So if this is a one-time email, you just wanna send it out, there's no other steps. You can add it to a smart plan, but we're gonna add it to an email campaign. So create a campaign, email, Once all this information and your list is selected, when you select from your designs, your email will be right here. So you can attach it. It will give you the option to edit once again. If you're good to go, you save and close. And now it will be attached to your campaign. And you can either schedule this to go out or send it out immediately.